Just a little update on my 40 breeder. Dun dun dun. I just redid the aquascaping. Put some better ledges in there to put frags on. It's still a fairly new tank. Um. It's only about four going on five months in about a week. Um, I kind of power cycled it. The live rock was cured. A friend of mine had it for six or seven years in a tank. Got a lot of stuff going on in here. This corner here actually the fire and ice, the anthids, the grass mat, um, the green star polyps, neon green leather. I'm actually moving into a nano tank. That's kind of why it's just piled up over here and not really in a spot. This button polyps really took off. I started with one, the giant one in the middle. Split off fairly nicely. Pulsing Xenia growing pretty good. It's not really fully extended right now. It's one of my only fish. A little camera shy. Let's see. Trachephilia. Lobophilia. Ulophilia, which got in a fight. As you can see that head right there, possibly, maybe. The bottom of the head kind of died off. It got in a fight with this little chalice here. This chalice a friend gave me it wasn't doing good in his tank. Um, when he got it, it took up that whole rock. As you can see, it died off quite a bit. Um, it's gotten nice and puffy again. It does eat pretty good. But I don't even know how I had it mounted over here somewhere. It flipped face down onto the Ulophilia, and Chalice wins, apparently. I always thought the Ulophilia had one hell of a sting, but the Chalice has no damage, and the Ulophilia has a chunk out of it. It seems to be doing okay, though. That just happened yesterday. So it's nice and open and doing pretty good. There's a gold sparkler zoanthids, some red ones. These green ones here... They're kind of that neon green dragon's eye, whatever you want to call it. Um, they haven't been opening the last week or so. Not sure why. They are in a little bit more shaded area um, now. I just aquascaped this like, two days ago, though. I just changed everything around. So, um, some green candy cane, a little red with green center candy cane. Um, just elephant ear came as a hitchhiker. Um, it was fairly small last week when I got it. Um, now it's pretty happy. I would say probably five or six inches. I bleached these out. They kind of lost their color. Um, these are Monipora caps. They did really well, and then I kind of killed the color on them. Polyps are coming back. Green color's coming back a little bit. Let's see. This guy's doing good. So, Digitata. Digitata, same thing. My pistol shrimp buried this at one point in my nano tank. Um, it's nice and healthy, but the color on it um, is kind of gone. The, uh, my, the prize of my tank, Aptasia. Quite lovely. Um, I've been having a little battle with that lately. Looks like I got a couple more heads here to get rid of. They're in a very easy spot at least. This was sold to me as a red planet frag. It's been growing really well. Polyps haven't been coming out much, but um, 
it's growing really well, so I am not too worried. This guy has terrible color, but polyp extension is amazing. Let's see, There's a couple more Acroporas. There's a bonsai frag that just got added to my tank the other day. Um, actually, has bright green polyps when they're out. I love that one. That one's triple in size. Bird's nest, get some mushrooms, waving hand. Hawkfish, the bane of my existence. I love him, but I hate him, if you know what I mean. He eats all my hermit crabs. He constantly sits on everything. I'm surprised there's even corals opened up. He loves the camera, so... He usually sits on top of whatever I'm trying to take a picture of. Super personable, but he's kind of an ass. And I cannot introduce any other fish. I have the coral beauty, I have the hawkfish, I have the two ocellars. Um, I've tried introducing a Midas Blenny, which he promptly killed. I had a Diamond Sleeper Gobi, which he also killed. I got a Dottie back, which he also killed. Um, so I'm kind of done adding fish, which is fine. Um, as you can see, it's fairly coral dominated. Here's some frags I bought, I don't know, probably three months ago or so. Um, Brains are doing good. This is a chalice. It doesn't really color up much more than this purple. I guess it has some lighter spots on it, but pretty plain. Kind of like the shape it's in, though. Kind of Colosseum style. Um, this Christmas tree Fabia really lost its bright green color. Um, I'm not doing it any favors, by the way. It's sitting there. Um, I'm guessing that hermit crab just kind of dug it out. One of the zebras. Um, Swore coral is doing good though, except when Jacques is sitting on it. I named him Jacques. He's very French in my opinion. Um, the pagoda normally is fully extended. I'm guessing the hawk just sat on it since that's what he does. Oh, there he is. Um, this brain I got. It was um, receding there on the side when I got it. Um, it's not receding anymore. It's nice and puffy and healthy. This guy was this already died off halfway when I got him. He's been doing good other than that as well. The Gorgonian. I love having it in the middle of that tunnel. It looks really cool when it's sitting upright, but it gets knocked over two to three times a day. So I might end up moving that somewhere else. That thing grows like a weed, though. Um, way in the back there, I don't know. Well, you can see it if I zoom in, if the Coral Beauty gets out of the way. That's actually a mini carpet anemone that I got as a hitchhiker. It's uh, red with a green center. I like it. That's about it. That's like, I would say, five months of my 40 breeder. Got some good growth, but mainly I've added just way too much stuff, probably. Um, I'm fairly new to saltwater still, so kind of seeing what I like, what I don't like, and how different stuff acts. There's a little toadstool leather back there as well. Um, I think it's affecting my SPS up here. Um, it has the power head right there which isn't the prettiest powerhead. The Aquion powerheads, I read some good stuff, some bad stuff about. Um, for the money, they're fantastic, I think. They're inexpensive. They hold up great. I need to figure this out. That's. I bought some of the stunner strips, and they kind of hang under the rim of my tank. They're not on right now. But I don't know what the hell to do with the uh, little power cord that they chain together with. Um... That's about it. There's another, there's a mini maxi carpet. 
on the back side. Um, you can't really see it. You can kind of see the edge of it there. Maybe. Yeah, you can kind of see it folded over. There's a sexy shrimp that hangs out on top of it. There you can see the other part of it. It's kind of a rainbow-ish deal. I just cleaned out the entire back side of my tank because I was having a horrible time getting to the glass, which as you can see, I still am. Sorry, it's pretty shoddy camera work here. Um, oh, anyway, the Aquion Powerheads. Great for their money. Um, I hate the profile on them. They do stick out quite a ways in the tank. Um, I kind of aquascaped around them, I guess. Left the sides blank. The circulation on them is fantastic. Um, they push a lot of water. The, those are the 700 series. Um, I get plenty of water flow, even on the bottoms and the corners, all the way around. For the most part, everything opens up um, on the daily. If not, I move it. And I'm just running an octopus hang on the back skimmer on this. Um, it does quite the wonderful job, actually. Um, it's hang on the back, it's not pretty. This thing's in my bedroom. I don't really care. It doesn't bother me. Um, it does get some nice gunk built up in it. Empty it after a couple days. And I'm running an aqua clear. Um, hang on the back filter as well. Once again, not pretty. It's in my bedroom. I don't care. I think it still looks cool. The aqua clear I mainly have on there because I can put media in it and it runs media. Right now, I'm using just a Acurel nitrogen pad, a nitrogen, wow, um, and I'm also using Purigen in here, which I really like, um, and that's a nit this is just a cut to fit nitrate pad, and my nitrates seem to do pretty good that way, so... That's my tank. This video is way longer than I thought. Um, if you watch it, cool. If not, I don't really care. It's for me. Um, if you have any comments, suggestions, concerns, something I'm doing terribly wrong, let me know. Goodbye.